Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to create this gorgeous Valentine's Day makeup look. The eyeshadows that I'm using are from the Too Faced Chocolate Bonbons palette. I talked about this in my January favourites, so if you'd like more information you can check that out. If you would prefer a red eyeshadow look, please check out my Morphe 35O holiday look. All products and related videos will be found in the description box below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and tag me on Instagram if you recreate this look. Now let's get into the video. I've already moisturised my face and applied the Body Shop Vitamin C Skin Reviver Instant Smoothing Primer. So starting with the brows today, I'm going to be using the Freedom Pro um, Brow Pomade in the shade Ash Brown and my, and my favourite brush. Um, you can check out my January favourites video for details on that. I'm going to speed through this to save time, um, but let me know in the comments section if you would like to see a detailed brow routine and I'll be sure to get that done for you. Next I'm priming my eyes with the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Anti-Aging. And then I'm going to set that using the shade Divinity. Now I'm taking a Morphe M505 and the shade Almond Truffle just into the crease and I'm blending this out quite a lot. Now taking the same brush and the shade Cotton Candy I'm just going to blend over the top of that. Taking a Morphe M441 and I'm dipping into Totally Fetch. And I'm just placing this on the outer corner and blending thoroughly. Don't worry too much about getting any colour payoff. Really you just want to concentrate from the outer corner into the crease so that those colours blend together nicely and you want to use lots of circular motions for this. And you can either wing it out or round it, I'm just following the natural shape of my eye, not really worrying about any particular shape. I'll take a smaller, more dense brush. I'm using a Morphe M443 and concentrate the colour on the outer corner only. I'm not going into the crease, I'm just blending and intensifying the outer corner. Use a big fluffy brush to lightly blend everything together. I'm using a clean Morphe M504. There's no product on this. I'm just very lightly blending those colours together. You don't want a harsh line between the crease and the outer corner. So you can take the shade Bordeaux onto the lower lash line for a smoky effect if you don't want to do winged liner. So I'm just going to show you this, how it would look without winged liner. And finally, you want to pack the shade sprinkles all over your lid, either using your finger or a brush. I'm just using a concealer brush that I got from Primark. Moving on to the face, I'm first going to apply the Maybelline Baby Skin um, Pore Primer. I'm only going to put this in the areas where my pores are particularly um, noticeable. The foundation that I'm using is the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra HD Foundation in the shade 1.0. I'm just going to bounce that in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and I'm going to do that off camera um, just to save some time, so I'll be right back. Next, apply concealer over any blemishes under the eye and over any areas that you'd like to highlight. Blend out using your finger or um, a beauty sponge. 
I like to set my under eyes as soon as possible with loose translucent powder. I'm using the NYX Studio HD setting powder and the same damp sponge to press it gently into the skin underneath my eyes. Now I'm going to take my NYX Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundation and a Real Techniques buffing brush and I'm just going to set the rest of my face. If you have dry skin, I would definitely um, just powder the centre of the face and then leave the rest of the face because you're going to put blush and stuff on anyway. Next it's time for bronzer. Um, I'm using the Benefit Hula Bronzer and a Morphe E4 brush and I'm just going to sweep that over the high points of my face. For blush I'm using the Benefit Rocketeur and a Real Techniques blush brush. And now for the best bit, which is highlight, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Moonchild Glow Kit. And I'm using the shade Pink Heart today. And my usual brush, the Morphe M510. Next, to finish off the eyes, you can add winged eyeliner. I have used MAC Black Track Gel Liner. Next, it's time for lashes. I'm applying the Eyelore Flare de Force Flare Loves lashes. They're three quarter length lashes. I'm just going to apply this off camera along with my Benefit Roller Lash Mascara and then I'll be right back. And finally, let's add some lipstick. Most pink colours or even a deep, vampy um, brown or plum will work with this eyeshadow look. Um, today, I'm going to be using the Jeffree Star Scorpio and I'm also going to add Sagittarius to the centre of my lips for an ombre effect. Don't forget to spritz some setting spray. I'm using the Freedom Pro Studio Fixing Spray. And this is an anti chine setting spray. So here's the finished look. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it and that you recreate it for your Valentine's Day activities. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram if you do. You'll find the information in the description box below for that. Let me know in the comments section what video you would like to see next. I really love hearing what you guys are interested in. Please hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.